<laughs> Hello and welcome again. So today I'm just live back to back to back to back to back. If you missed me, uh, I just did a live and I just went, um, hey, hey, Victoria, artistic mind. Hello, Tammy. Um, we just did a live on beauty from inside and outside with Shakira, and I encourage you to watch it because it's a really an important subject. Um, so we were live literally like two hours ago um, for like a whole hour, which we thought, um, hey, Sa Zaib, hey, Sarah, um, which we thought was going to be like 20 minute live. We like had it all planned out and then it just you know, it was just an interactive, very interesting, um, hey, Lina, <laughs> you're with me on the, all the lives today, I love you, you're so good, uh, very important conversation, please go and watch and participate in the conversation and share, this was so, so, so good, um, I am doing actually very well, very well, thank God, can't complain, um, so now we're back to NLA Cosmetics mode, and today we're actually going to be doing some swatching. So we're going to be playing today. Hi. Hi, Larissa. Uh, when you replied to my message? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you send me a message? I'm so sorry. I get a lot of messages. Best way to reach, uh, depends where you want to be. If it's just me personally, DM is fine. Um, uh, but if I don't respond, I'm so sorry. I will respond to you. So send it to me again. All right. So today, uh, last week, we started on a brand new... I've been in and out of subways, but I'm on track. Ah, you're the best. You're you're on a roll with you. Um, so I am live on on uh, both of my platforms today again, which is my Facebook and um, of course Instagram. My Insta fam is here. And hey, Marina, welcome. And so um, yeah, I'm loving it. Today is just live back to back. <laughs> All right, so let's dive into our lipstick swatches today let me bring my face a little closer there you go so you could actually see my lip closer i'm wearing a little lip gloss from earlier so i'm gonna remove it who is not afraid to be on the camera um without makeup on don't be scared i know what you all look like i know what i look like too it's okay all right so today we're actually going to be doing my um, shiny lipsticks. Oh, miss you too. I uh, hope Fam Bam is doing well. Yes, thank God. You know what? They're doing well. You should definitely come over. You're not far from me, Victoria. Hey, Fitness Health 2K. Um, oh, thank you. She says I look hot as always. I don't know about hot, but, you know, mom hot probably. <laughs> but I accept. I accept. So you guys know that in my line at NLA Cosmetics, we have two different types of lipsticks, right? One is matte and one has shine to it. Which one is more is one that's more popular? That's already up to the person using it, right? I don't like to kind of like single out a certain thing. I could tell you which colors are more popular, which obviously in both there are certain colors that are like super, super popular with my customers. But then again, I have such a great range of colors, and today I wanted to focus on the ones with the shiny finish. So I'm so excited! Where are the lipsticks? And I'm gonna be using Astera Products Hydra Baby Balm. I'm gonna tag her later. I love this, um, it's pure natural baby oil, and I'm gonna use it in between makeup, in between lipstick, so I can remove it smooth and then reapply a next color. I'm gonna literally swatch it on my lips. And tomorrow's post, you're going to see our swatches. So stay tuned for sure. Um, so let's start. So what is so good about these lipsticks, right? This is a great uh, question. So I'm literally going to read you the ingredients so that you can understand. And the ingredients are so good. We have castor seed oil, coconut oil, Carnauba wax, which is a plant-based wax, candelilla wax, which is a plant-based wax, um, glycerin, cocoa seed butter, uh, jojoba seed oil, mango butter, uh, avocado butter, vitamin E, grape seed oil, vanilla, um, oregano leaf extract, thyme extract, cinnamon bark, rosemary extract, lavender flower extract, um, golden seal root. I mean, hello, why wouldn't you have this lipstick on your lips? This is, this is a jam. 
it is not normal it's a jam like you must own it and it's healthy and it's it smells like heaven and the application is smooth and it'll hydrate your lips and it'll continue it'll keep your natural color intact without eating it up by all those disgusting chemicals that are constantly put on a regular commercial um, products I just I don't know why so many brands overlook this area when you can use natural colors like mica iron oxides to create beautiful yummy ingredients in your lipsticks in your foundations in your lash like everything across the board can be done with natural resources as you can see you probably understood every single word i said from the from here right and that is very important if you don't if you cannot pronounce the ingredients in your lipstick just don't buy it just don't buy it save your money don't do it and if you have it throw it out get this one get this one um, we really do put a lot of emphasis on natural and organic, but not only natural and organic, because people can talk about natural and organic forever, but what sets it apart? Quality, pigmentation, and I'm going to start applying from light to dark, um, because it's just easier to erase, um, you know, the lighter ones, much easier to erase. So let's dive right into it. Um, so the first one I'm going to start with is Breathless. And Breathless is a very, like, nude color. And different color depending on who you are. Hey, Leia. Exactly, Lena. You see, she's totally with me on this one. And Alina buys a lot of my makeup. So she knows. She, I think you got a whole set already from my line. So I'm going to apply. This color is called Breathless. This is like a nude color, and it'll look different. I think that's exactly what I'll do. <laughs> yes. And this color is going to look obviously different on everybody, but I want you to see what it looks like. Let me bring myself a little bit closer there. I'm, like, I'm literally going to be in your face. You see this color? It's a stunning nude shade. Um, it's called Breathless, and it's, it's non-sticky formula. It's so good. Um, it smells good, it tastes good, because obviously, you know, you wear it all day long, you're going to eat it up, right? Don't eat it, but you, it, it's just bound to happen. So this is your Breathless, okay? So I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to go to the next one. The next one is a very popular shade, very, very popular shade, and this shade is called Hibiscus. This is the Hibiscus right here. You see the difference between them? Let me apply this one. Look at this color. You see that? It has like a tint of maybe bronze in it. It's a really nice for you guys. On I don't know how to zoom in my face on Facebook. So sorry guys. Um, but on Instagram, I zoomed myself in so that I can show you, really showcase the color. This one looks good on many, many different skin tones, like many different skin tones across the board, from lighter to the dark one, because we've tested them um, on different clients, and it looks really, really stunning. You see how it just gives it that little shine, got a kind of shimmery. Um, let me remove this color. Moving on to the next color, let's see, the lightest shade would probably be pink. This pink is like a true baby pink. Look at this color. It's like a true baby pink color. You see it? Depending on the type of makeup that you are applying, you can literally work with any shade. I don't care what it is, but you can work with any any of these lipsticks. Like it'll go with you. 
you just you might have to dress it up and in the end if I don't forget I want to show you how I mix them and the, how they look really presentable and completely changes the color grid um, for you so again this is precious pink a beautiful soft shade it is non sticky formula look at my lips see that you don't see that stickiness kind of like that weird because it has such an enormous amount of different oils and it's very creamy and extracts it's just an incredible product so let's remove this one next color I want to use is sweet pea Look at this color. Sweet Pea is a stunning shade. It reminds me a bit of like a lavender type. Don't forget the corners. almost not quite well you got a ton you see this color it's a stunning shade I mean I love all of them I'm very biased I love all of them but there's certain ones that just look better than others don't ask me why but they just do okay so here you go beautiful shade This is why I love having um, the Hydra Baby Bomb with me. It'll rehydrate your lips when you're erasing it constantly. And remove the rest of the lipstick. Like that. And just wipe it off. Okay, next shade I'm going to do is... Um, oh, we have this too also here is let's see radiant rose i love this color love look at this shade literally like it's just stunning like rosy coral pink look at this shade see that let me know which one is your favorite so far and it's so soft and smooth it's just it's beyond me it's yum absolutely yum so this is radiant rose you see that shine that's why I call it lipstick with shine pretty like easy now we'll remove it Okay. Next, I'm gonna do is no, not this one. I'm gonna do coral kisses. It's a coral color. Look at this shade. It's such a beautiful shade. Like it's a true coral shade. And you can mix and match them. You see this shade? Like a really nice coral shade. Love it. The next one 
I'm gonna do going to gonna go into my darker shades. This one is my purely plum. Let me swatch it for you. Purely plum. See that color? Hey Estrella, Estrella. I love this shade. So like plum color. So this is my purely plum. Also, you can wear this colors on the cheeks to kind of match up your lipstick. Next, I'm going to go with one of my favorite shades, is a red. This is the true red, stunning, beautiful, um, makes your teeth look white. I remember my grandmother used to wear a red color. Not like that. I'm look at this shade. Is it not normal? I love this color. You see? When you smile, because it has a blue undertone, it makes your teeth look white. I'm obsessed with this color. I use this color a lot. Like a lot. Over a lot of different lipsticks. <gasps> I almost erased the swatches. Oh my god. So this is your red. Next. I'm telling you, today we're playing. Today we are playing. If you never wore my lipsticks, you have no idea what you're missing. It's like, it's like, um, it feels like chapstick almost, but smoother, if you can imagine. Now we're going to go into really dark ones. Let's see where I'm going to put it, I guess over here. This is a really nice shade. Dark one. This is my red, and this is the dark one right here. And this one is called Black Cherry. Now I'm obsessed with it. It's like really deep color. I mean, look at this. Such a gorgeous shade. Imagine you do like a really nice makeup with like a just nice contour and really nice dark eyes, like a liner, very clean eyeliner, right? Maybe a little bit of an eyeshadow, nothing crazy, and like nice deeper, deeper color blush, and they'll look like a million dollars. And this is called Black Cherry. And the final color is called Temptress, and it's really dark, like really, really dark. So let me put it right here. I mean, look at this. Look at these shades. You see that? And this is the darkest shade. So let me remove this. 
and this is why I went from the lightest to the darkest. Don't forget the corners. Look at this. I love it. It reminds me of like goth makeup. <laughs> you guys know that I am in high school I had this phase. I was like totally into I don't remember his name, one of those rock bands, whatever. And I wanted to go, it, there was like a meet and greet, and I put on like this black color on my lips and like black around my eyes. It was like a whole phase I went through. And I, I go to Marilyn Manson, was it Marilyn Manson? I think it was Marilyn Manson. Don't even Google him, he, it, it, he's just scary. I don't know what the heck was wrong with me, but I went through this phase. And I get to Manhattan, and my cousin said, okay, fine, you, you want to do this crazy stuff? Then go. And I'm coming with you. <clears throat> so I said, fine. He came with me, God bless him, Arcady. And <laughs> we went to Manhattan, and it was, I think it was in Virgin Megastore. It was like a meet and greet. And then somebody, something happened in the crowd, and they canceled the meet and greet. Man, I was so... Like, I was 16, I don't know, 16, 17, and so I was so bummed about it, and I was like, man, and that was my only time that I was into it, and then I got over it, and I remember he got me hot chocolate because I was crying, I was like, I can't believe I didn't meet Marilyn Manson, and that was a crazy time for me, um, and I just remember it when I put on this lipstick that, yeah, you can wear dark lip, I think the dark would be better with a certain type of makeup any any lipstick really you can do with any type of makeup certain type of makeup um but i think the darker skin tones would look even better with it because it'll be um complementing the features even more but for me personally because i'm pretty light um if i do the right makeup like really using the plums um, the darker tones on my face, it'll definitely work also. So it really depends on your style. But you can see the range of color here. Now, let me show you some fun ways to dress up the makeup, right? Just to, let's say you want to, let's say you want to dress it up, meaning like you want to, um, Chew, like you, you want to create your own color. So I'm going to show you some of the like my favorite combinations that I love. So basically I use red wine for all of these different. Um, so if you want to buy like other like colors, but then one lipstick that you must must have, that would be a red wine. So let me go into it. So let's say you want to do this combination, which I think is such a stunning combination. So you're going to take a uh, radiant rose. Let's look at this. Radiant Rose. And then you're going to grab your red wine. Look at this color. Look at this color. This is Radiant Rose right here. Right here. And look at the color. This is Radiant Rose with red wine on top of it. It's an insane, beautiful, soft pink color that I'm telling you, you're going to fall madly in love with. Let me clean off the red wine and show you the next combination. So remember this combination. Radiant Rose with red wine on top. Let me erase it. Now I'm going to do Precious Pink. It's a baby pink shade. Right here. Baby pink shade. I'm going to put it on.
baby pink shade and I'm gonna put a red wine over it look at this color is this not the most beautiful like it's the combination of colors that you can do is so versatile it is insane look at this and like this you can keep going and keep going and keep doing and keep creating and you will create more and more and more shades now sometimes I'm thinking okay let me just mix a couple of formulas together and turn it into the color but it doesn't come out this way because you have to control how much color how much red you want to put in it to turn it into a specific color I happen to have a lot of these so I interchange them a lot like a lot another beautiful way to do this is if you get the temperatures together with um, like a lighter shade maybe like a purely plum if you want to go a little bit into you see these two shades the really dark plum and a, like a lighter plum I guess you could say so the way you would do it is I mean this is already a little bit more technical but just to have some fun with it I'm gonna show you so for this particular look you're gonna need a brush you're gonna need a brush And I'm using temperatures around the perimeter of my mouth. You see this? Mostly on the outer corners. see then you're gonna grab your purely plum just in the center you see this kind of like um, and then you're gonna grab a brush Isn't it a beautiful, like, transition? Look at that. And you just use the darkest shades, and it looks so beautifully. So it really depends on how you use these things. That's the most important thing. Um, play with it. See which colors, which color combinations work well with you. But these are super blendable, really soft um, texture. So the longevity of it, it depends on how you're eating, right? Um, in order for them to last a little bit longer, you can do a little trick. And the trick requires you to have my um, my setting powder, right? So you, what you would do is when you're applying lipstick on, you're going to grab a little bit of setting powder. Set it. And then repeat. repeat the process so if you're using one lipstick you're gonna go over it with the whole lipstick but if you did just an ombre effect you're gonna do the same ombre effect see And of course, a 
like that. And that'll make it last you longer when you're applying the setting powder in between. Of course, in the end, you can use my moisturizing spray. Like that. And it'll set everything together. And those are your swatches. Very, very easy to apply. Very, very easy to use. Um, smoothest formula in the world. Like the smoothest formula in the world. And you have a nice range of shades. You see that range? It's a huge range from the lightest, which is in the center. And then I kind of went one side and the other side. And this is my darkest shade. So a lot to play with. A ton of colors to put together. And you're going to absolutely love it. So let me know which one was your favorite shade. Next week on, at 12 p.m., we're going to be talking about my matte colors. In my matte line, we have five colors. And there's a huge range also from li the lightest shade to the darkest. But they are matte, right? So for those of you that love matte colors, um, that's going to be the life for you. And for you guys with... Um, with a shiny finish and also I get this question a lot who is it for shiny finish you can anybody can wear it the only time I would kind of say I'm discouraging you is when you have um, very very like there's texture on your lips like too many um, too much texture that's showing and you don't want it to be pronounced with the shine then don't wear it but if it's more like wrinkly um, I would recommend wearing this versus the matte because matte will make it even more wrinkly, right? Because it's matte, matte is a little bit more of a uh, less of a shiny formula, so less smoother formula. So I will talk about that next week. So here you go. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next Monday, 12 p.m. Eastern for more swatching. Bye.